To Catch a Predator, the hit series brought forward by NBC's Dateline brought both praise and criticism during its three-year reign. While some lauded NBC for bringing sexual predators to justice, others criticized the method used to achieve their goals, especially its cooperation with law enforcement and public advocacy groups. For this case study, I was to put myself in the shoes of the general manager of an area television station and figure out a solution to the exact same ethical problem posed by To Catch a Predator. To resolve this problem, it's important to look toward the Potter box to help gain a better understanding of the ethical systems and values at play. The four quadrants we will be looking at include definition, values, principles, and loyalties. These four quadrants will assist myself in making an educated decision about what I would do if faced with this situation. First, we'll need to define the problem. As a general manager, I was approached by local police and advocacy group Perverted Justice to assist with a local sting operation. Several key facts were mentioned in the case, including several high-profile arrests for child pornography or enticing a minor. This placed a major emphasis in my later decision. It's also important to note that there were dissenting opinions amongst those working at my television station. With the problem defined, I moved on to determining the key values for each group. I divided the people involved into four groups and then assigned values. I found that most values fell into the professional and moral categories, and there was significant overlap amongst them, especially justice and the public's right to know what's going on. What's most interesting, however, is how those opposed to the sting valued the same things as those who supported the operation, but for different reasons. After assigning values, I moved on to the third quadrant of the Potter box, where ethical principles are determined. For those in favor of participating in the sting operation, I found close ties to Kant's categorical imperative, as some might find justice to be an absolute right while perversion to be an absolute wrong. I also included Mill's principle of utility, as some might view less sexual predators on the streets to be for the greater good for a greater amount of people. As for those against the operation, I found that the persons as ends principle suited them quite nicely as it included acceptance of others as a major factor. Finally, I came across the final quadrant in the Potter Box system, where loyalties are determined. Similar to the value shared by several groups, I found that both sides of the debate had shared loyalties as well. However, whereas those in favor of the sting would distinctly leave out those who might be at risk of being caught in such an operation, those against it would likely include them within their loyalty. In addition, station employees who are loyal to the organization might support the sting as a way to bring ratings and ad revenue to the station, while those opposed might not agree with the controversy it might bring. Ultimately, the decision was up to me on whether to cooperate with the sting operation, and when faced with all the facts, values, and principles, I chose to give my support. The most important factor in determining my decision was my loyalty to my community. As stated in the case facts, there had been several high-profile arrests made even before perverted justice had approached the station. As the community my station serves is also my community, I felt more comfortable agreeing to such an operation than if it were on a more national scale.